Hello my brothers and sisters. Our topic today is killing your self. Our scripture is very important today and it comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 16. That's why we never give up. Though our bodies are dying, our spirits are being renewed every day. My friends, is there any time you wanted to be happy and enjoy your life, yet something did not permit you to do so? Or is there any time you wanted to reconcile with your spouse or with someone, yet something stopped you to do or to take a step forward? Or is there any time you wanted to do something good for others, but you could not do it because of unidentified reason? My friends, although you have tried many times to bring love and peace between you and your spouse, or you and others, your anger, your past disappointments, your past failures pull you back. Although you hate to be lonely and dejected, you do not want to compromise with someone's deception. In this moment, how can you kill your negative thoughts? Or how can you kill your self and move forward with the new perspective? Jesus helps you with three Bible illustrations. Number one, John 12, 23. Break your outward man. My friends, any seed that you sow should die in the soil so that it can germinate and grow as a strong tree. So also, you ought to kill your outward person so that your kindness, your politeness, your sweet inner person can come out to do what you wanted to do. It is your outward man stopping your reconciliation with your family. It is your outward person demotivating you to forgive your haters. Although you are very good, your anger, your unforgetfulness, frustration stop you to step out to progress. Number two, Mark 14, 3. Break the alabaster jar. My friends, unless and until the jar is broken, the wonderful fragrance of the oil will not be smelt. So also, unless and until you decided to break your past bitterness, past hurt, you cannot expose your sweetness, goodness, love and kindness. You cannot shine. You cannot love or be content with the jar. Jar is not important, but what is inside is important and significant. What is outside of you is not important, but what is inside of you is important and that's your life. Don't worry. Don't mind. Don't listen what others say about you. You are what you say about you. Number three, First Peter 2, 9. Break your darkness. My friends, you may be in the darkness of tears, darkness of disappointments, darkness of deceptions, verbally and physically abused. Yes, of course, your past bitterness is unbearable and unacceptable. But yet, how long you are going to live among them? Break your darkness by your willpower. Surrender yourself to Christ and he will bring you out of darkness. Your peace your joy is not in the darkness, but it is within you. Wipe your tears. Stand up and stand firm. Here is the hope for you from Psalms 23 verse 4. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, there are many times we are unable to be happy because the outward man is stopping the joy which is inside. Please, dear Lord, give us strength to break the outward person so that the inward 
the sweet person can be exposed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.